they call me King of Drill, a.k.a. King of Drill. Hey guys, I hope you are doing all right with the whole uh, quarantine. It's uh, pretty boring here, just playing video games and uh, hanging out with the family. That's, that part's not boring, but just staying inside, not playing baseball is pretty boring. But I hope you guys are doing well and I hope that you guys are finding a way to have some fun together. Um, I, uh, hope that baseball can come back soon, especially for the Brewers. The Brewers will do good this year, but, uh, we did lose some of our starting pitching, but, uh, we got some prospects and some guys that we traded in that, uh, rotation, so I think we'll have a pretty good year, even though most of baseball thinks that the Brewers won't do well. I, uh... I'd like to hear your opinions on that too if you guys want to respond to this video and uh yeah i think it's cool that we signed yelich again and i'm really looking forward to watching some baseball and seeing you guys as soon as possible i love you guys have a great day and hope to see you very soon Hello again. So apparently I was too vague in my last video to you. So I would like to talk on some specifics as far as new players that we have this year. So we got a new outfielder for the Brewers, a right fielder named Avisail Garcia. He was an all-star in 2018 and hits for a high average. So I think he will be a key role in the lineup and in my own opinion, I think since we don't have Eric Thames anymore, that we should move Ryan Braun over to first and have Garcia play left while Yelich is in right and Kane in center. We also picked up a new catcher because we lost Yasmani Grandal. He's now playing with the White Sox. And the catcher's name is Omar Narvaez. And he is actually ranked uh, number six among catchers in all about B and he has a little bit of power but he hits for a high average and I think he will be really making a difference as far as some of the pitchers go we got a few well we got a trade with the Padres that included a starting pitcher who his ERA was right around three so he should be pretty good in our starting rotation after we lost Zach Davies, Chase Anderson, and Jimmy Nelson, so I'd say Brandon Woodruff first, and then probably the guy that we got. I don't really remember his name offhand, but I think he's going to do very well for us, and um, we also got a new shortstop along with him, but he is on the DL right now. But Orlando Arcia was tearing up in spring training. He changed up his stance during the offseason. And I think that he's going to explode this year and have a really good season for us. So, honestly, I think Brewers will do pretty good this year. But I don't know about as much as last year. But I hope that they can push through that and can have Yelich healthy for the postseason and move past that wild card and do great in the postseason. Love you guys. Thank you for listening.
<laughs> really great. Is that too much? I heard I saw smoke come out. They just had it at the back or something. Hey, Graham and Gramps. Uh, we just wanted to update you guys on how we're doing and how life's been lately since we weren't able to come over last week um, due to the whole craziness of the world right now. Um, we have plenty of food in our freezer and uh, we are pretty stocked up and we're good, we're safe. Um, neither one of us is sick, so um, you don't really need to worry about us. We're gonna stay smart um, with Lately, how it's been, we've been pretty good, we're happy, and uh, we've been working a lot. Um, we're not right now because of the situation, but I've been doing um, a bunch of houses and stuff. I'm working for two real estate agents right now doing their videos and photos, so that's been pretty cool. And WVA is super busy, everyone needs their contacts, <laughs> and I've been working with Nehemiah's Realtors as well to do some design work, so that's pretty fun. Yeah. So yeah, we just wanted to update you guys and uh, let you know that we love you guys and we want to make sure you guys are staying safe too and um, we know you guys will do that. But uh, we wanted to let you know we love you and we can't wait to see you next time. So love you guys. See ya. What do you call cheese that's not yours? Stolen. You should return it. <laughs> ah. This grill has seen better days. <laughs> Try it the other way. <laughs> it's like when you put your underwear on inside out so you don't have to wash it. <laughs> I yeah! Don't, I don't really do that. <laughs>